special story time. Did you know this week is Read Across America? Well, it is, and to celebrate, we have some amazing videos just for you guys. So, Miss Sarah, put a call out to all my friends across the state. I did, and you know what? Those friends responded, and they sent over some really great videos reading stories for you guys because it's Read Across America. It's a celebration of reading, and they have read some amazing stories, and some of them have even sang some songs, but we're going to watch videos. They're going to show us a little bit about where they're from, and then they're going to read a story. Oh, it's so great, so let's get to it. Grab your bags, friends. We're kicking off this road trip by traveling over to the state of Pennsylvania to visit our friend, Miss Tiffany. Hi there, friends. My name is Miss Tiffany, and I am the Youth Services Librarian at the Butler Area Public Library in Butler, Pennsylvania. Butler is on the western side of the state of Pennsylvania, not too far from the city of Pittsburgh. We are kind of a small city here in Butler. We definitely get all four seasons of the year. Right now, it's really cold and snowy where I am. One of the most exciting and interesting things about the city of Butler, Pennsylvania, is it is where the Bantam Jeep was invented. So every year we have a big festival celebrating the invention of the Bantam Jeep, and people from all over drive their Jeeps to our town to have a big parade and have a weekend full of fun. Today I'm going to read you a story about friends. Making new friends is one of my favorite things ever, and that's why I am so excited that you are here to become a new friend to me. The name of this story is A Friend Like You. The authors, that's the people that wrote the book, are Frank Murphy and Sharnay Gordon. And the illustrator, that's the person who drew the pictures, is Kayla Heron. I'd like to say a big thank you to Sleeping Bear Press and the Cherry Lake Publishing Group for giving us permission to read this book to you today. Are you ready to hear the story? A Friend Like You by Frank Murphy and Sharnay Gordon. You'll meet thousands and thousands and thousands of people in your lifetime. Some you will only meet once. Some you'll get to know a little, and you'll get to know some people so well that you'll call them friends. Some of these friends will become supportive friends, honest friends, generous friends, true friends, forever friends, best friends. Go out into the world and make friends. The world needs a friend like you. Be a curious friend. Asking questions is a good way to start friendships. Listen with an open heart and mind. When you are a better listener, you can ask better questions. Getting to know someone's stories, thoughts, and ideas matters. It shows you care. Be an accepting friend. Some people you meet will be from places that are far, far away but most will be from right around the corner. A few will look just like you. A few will practically be your opposite. Many will believe what you believe. Even more will not. Be an open-minded friend. Become friends with all kinds of people. The only way to learn how to get along with people who are different from you is by being with them. Find out things you both like to do and do them together. Be a flexible friend. You might like to wear high tops while your friend likes to wear flip flops. A friend might like to snack on sushi, but you prefer pizza. You might stay up all night reading while a friend spends all night watching movies. Try something new with a friend and no matter what, celebrate each other. Be a forgiving friend. Your friends will make mistakes. You will too. Everyone makes mistakes. Friends say sorry and move on. Be a kind friend. Friends share. They share things like toys and games and snacks. 
but they also share ideas and goals and hopes and dreams. Sharing makes friendships stronger, so share often. Be a thoughtful friend. When a friend is feeling down, maybe you'll help them up, or maybe their life is feeling loud and you can be a quiet place. Whatever you do, being there when they need you is what matters most. Be an ally. An ally is one of the most powerful things you can be for a friend. It means a friend can trust you to stand up and speak up for them, even when they're not there. A friend and ally will always have your back and you will always have theirs. That's what true friends do. It doesn't matter if it's a friend you grow up with or a friend you meet when you're all grown up. Play together, laugh with each other, dream together. One day you'll notice you aren't just having fun, you are making memories. The memories you make together will last a lifetime. So go out into the world and make friends. Be curious and accepting, forgiving and kind. Be a true friend. The world needs a friend like you. Since I've told you a little bit about who I am and where I live, I definitely hope that you consider me a new friend. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you have a great day hearing lots of great stories and making new friends from all over. Bye-bye. All right, I know it's Read Across America, and it's a celebration of reading, but we don't read just books, right? No. We can read anything. We can read stuff at the grocery store. We can read street signs. We can read all kinds of things. Even a song. Yes, even a song. We can read a song. This is how we're going to do it. Miss Sarah is going to sing a song. I'm going to use my hands for ASL also. And then you guys at home are going to read the words along the page. (gasps) Oh, read across America. We're reading the words on the page. It's going to be great. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? We've done this song before, so hopefully some of you guys already know it. Here we go. Red and orange, green and blue, shiny yellow, purple too. These are the colors that we know. Way up high in the great rainbow. Red and orange, green and blue, Shiny yellow, purple too. Oh, it's great! All right, let's try it one more time. Let's try it. Are you ready? Here we go. Red and orange, green and blue, shiny yellow, purple too. These are the colors that we know. Way up high in the great rainbow. Red and orange, green and blue, shiny yellow purple too good job friends great reading oh it's been so much fun let's get back to some more stories all right let's continue our trip by going over to the state of mississippi to visit our new friend miss becky Hey, I'm Becky Neiman, and I live in Macomb, Mississippi, and I'm a librarian at North Pike Elementary School in Summit, Mississippi. And um, Mississippi, our state flower is the magnolia, and we I live in southwest Mississippi, which is about um, an hour, maybe an hour and ten minutes from our capital of Jackson, Mississippi. And we also like to travel down um, to Louisiana to go to Mardi Gras festivities. But we will be celebrating Read Across America just like you guys. And so I'm going to read Layla's Happiness to you today. It's one of my favorite books, newer books that we have gotten. Layla's Happiness. My name is Layla and I am seven years old. Layla means night beauty. I love the night. The dark sky is pretty. It's the color of dark purple plums. And the full moon, well, it's all my favorite. It sits in the sky like a wish flower sister. If I could reach the moon, I'd blow on it. And I'd wish to play the trumpet well 
without having to practice. I think happiness is climbing a tree. Or wearing purple. Or eating spaghetti without a fork. It's my dad when he talks about growing up in South Carolina and my mom when she reads me poetry. Happiness is planting a tomato seed and watching it grow in my favorite place, the community garden down the block. In the garden, I can dance with the ladybug on my finger. See butterflies and chase my friend one. I can feed chickens and give all the trees names. I can even pick vegetables to sell at our farmer's market. Do you have a favorite vegetable? We have a market every Thursday morning in our town. I think happiness is hearing Juan's parents laugh after they dance salsa underneath the magnolia tree. And like I said, that's our state flower and our state tree. And when the sea reaches into her pocket to give me a sand dollar. In Mississippi, we have a beautiful coastline and we can go to the beach there. But I can't say I've ever found a sand dollar there. But it's a special treat when you do find a sand dollar. I think happiness is showing my mom the outer space flowers in my kaleidoscope. That's what I think. Do you think so too? What is happiness to you? And I want to say, I hope you find happiness every day of your life and look for those small things that make you happy. I know reading makes us happy at our school and I love finding new books to read with our kids. I hope you enjoy your Read Across America week and check out Layla's Happiness. Thanks guys, greetings from Mississippi. That's about it for today. We had such a great time with such amazing friends reading to us. I hope you had a good time. I know I did. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.